Thank you gaming back with another Minecraft Redstone tutorial video. Um sorry it is a bit of building outside, it's been going on for a while, they're building a new shed, I'm not sure why. Uh <laughs> probably because I need, need a shed. But uh yeah, um as you know today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a bone meal farm. A bone meal a bone meal farm actually can be done many, many, many different ways. Uh but I don't know if you know, but you can if you were to get a composter this is what a composter is. And if you were to get a type of food, let's say sugar cane or kelp. Uh, I'm really sorry about the building work, it's actually really annoying. Kelp, see here, or sugar cane. And then it pops up, and things like that. And that is a bit of bone meal. But to do that, we need to start off with a pretty simple collection system. So the way I'm going to make this collection system is by putting down a chest and a hopper um, on top of that and then I'm going to put a composter on top, top of the hopper meaning let's say whenever a bit of bone meal is done it just pops into the chest nice and simple so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another hopper on top of that uh, Composter. I mean, this is pretty much the system we need to do to generate the bone meal. Uh, but so now we need, need to make uh, a type of farm. So the farm I'm going to build is a basic sugarcane farm because they're very, very, very easy to make. And uh, yeah, so I have got a video, but if you want to see me making one now, you can just uh, watch. So put a few hoppers just lining like that. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna put five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put six. I'm gonna put six. And then I'm going to get uh, blocks on each end of the hoppers, not on that hopper. Put one on that hopper there because that's the hopper leading into the composter. And I'm gonna put one on the end of that hopper there. I'm also gonna grab some rails. I'm gonna grab some powered rails. I'm going to grab some normal rails. I'm going to put a powered rail there and there. And then I'm going to get normal rails going along the whole way like that. Then what we want to do is we actually want to power that. So I recommend using redstone torches and a block. Uh, and you can just, behind here, put a block of whatever you want. It doesn't have to be stone. Then you can put another block, uh, like... Sorry, <laughs> I'm explaining this really badly. You can just put the blocks behind it like that, and you can pretty much power it however you want. You can, if you want to, put like redstone torches down. But I'm just gonna put a block of redstone down there, and a block of redstone down there, like that. So then, what you want to do is you want to get a minecart with hopper, and there it is. It just goes back and forth, and back, and forth. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to get some dirt, or sand, or whatever you want. I recommend using dirt just because it's the simplest one to use. And just do a bit of dirt behind there, like so. And remember to please like and subscribe to my channel. That would be great. And uh, yeah, that would be lovely. So, do you want to put the dirt on top of there, so that's where the sugar cane's gonna go, and you want to put dirt going all the way along. It doesn't have to be dirt, it can be whatever block you want, but you just want to put like a, a trench just down there where you can put your water. So this water needs to be there if you want the sugar cane to grow. You can just place one on each end. There you go, that will work. If you're, you want to, you can do, do that. It doesn't matter, it just has to be water there. So, now what you want to do is you want to put another block on top of the water. It's a nice, simple uh, thing to do, not too hard. And you want to clear your inventory and get observers, redstone dust, and the whole heart pistons. So, to get pistons, Put pistons all the way along there. Put um, observers going all the way behind. 
and then put dirt or whatever block you want lining the back of the pistons and then put redstone dust there so if you know that will when you power that it will just do that meaning when the sugar cane grows it will get uh, destroyed so you want to put sugar cane all the way along there and then you just want to get a uh, glass I think white stained glass always looks nice but it, does, it doesn't even have to be glass I just put a block around but if you want to make a nice looking sugar cane uh, farm I recommend doing this So a reminder again to please like and subscribe if you enjoyed or found this use uh, this video useful and helpful. And uh, yeah, so this is pretty much the whole farm done because as you know, when sugarcane grows, it will get destroyed, it will get picked up. Sorry, you picked up there. It will get pick if it grows, it will get destroyed. It will get picked up into these hoppers here. It will go down into that compost so you can see it's already started at the bottom. Then once it's done, the bone meal will go down into that chest. So, um, that is pretty much the way it works. There's different variations. This doesn't have to be a sugarcane farm. It could be a, a kelp farm or something like that. It doesn't have to be kelp. It could be a carrot farm or wheat farm because um, all those items work. I know on Chiefs of a Gaming's channel you can see another variation of this. As you can see, he, he made a uh, one, a kelp one with a uh, composter here. This one's just a bit faulty, but it does work if you give it uh, a long enough, a long enough go. Uh, but pretty much, this is the a good design. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Please like and subscribe to my channel to this video. And thank you and goodbye.